previously on Canada's Next Top Model. The five remaining models get some exciting news. You guys are off to New York City. <laughs> While four girls race around New York City meeting the fashion elite, Miriam's grounded again with passport problems. In a spectacular rooftop photo shoot, the girls have to play off their alter egos. I have to step up my game, so that's what I tried to do today. And in a bid to stay in the competition, Miriam orchestrates her own photo shoot at home. In a shocking judging, Miriam survives again while Nikita finds herself in the bottom two for the first time. I gotta tell you, it's looking a wee bit vertical. But it's Heather who finally bows out and goes home. Four girls remain who will be eliminated tonight. It's really tough when I found out that Heather was leaving. Me and her have been really close this whole time and it really sucks not having her around anymore. Hey girls, you are all so, so beautiful inside and out. There's no one to get Heather and Megan confused anymore. It's just Megan. <sighs> it only started in the last few weeks that I really thought like, wow, I can win this. I actually am surprised that Miriam's still here, but I just don't think it's fair. Did you listen to her rant? Good night, sleep tight. Hello. Hi. Hi. I love how you're all studying and looking at your magazines. Well, I got two cups of coffee. Coffee? You know I don't drink no damn coffee. <laughs> We're like all going off the wall because we know it's time for runway now. I have the eye, I have the legs, I got the walk, I got all the right things to make it all work. So if I have it, you can have it too. We were all in total awe of the fact that we got to meet it. her, him. It's important for me to see the body, so I think what we should do is I should give you some brown panties. And I hope they're clean. Very <laughs> And then what I want you to do yeah, is put these on. See Miriam around the house in her brown panties. Exactly. Do you never walk around in your brown panties? No. <laughs> Miriam is covered from head to toe, always. Always. They're always to tell the judges she's covering all the way and, you know, stuff like that. <gasps> you have to, you know, understand that I came from a country that I had to cover all the way myself, right? But I'm getting used to it. Darling, do you think you're in the right business? Yes. You have to be so comfortable with your body, and she can't. Ooh, Miriam, you look kind of cute. According to Jay, you all have what it takes. That's through Jay's eyes. Uh-oh. Now, <laughs> my eyes may be a whole different little scenario here. Megan, Megan you first. At first, I was moving my shoulders too much. Megan purses her lips. She's very... So kind of awkward. Jason, I just have to be careful for my face. <laughs> Miriam gives you the death stare. You know like you want to whip somebody's ass. <laughs> it was so amateur. Like anyone who walks down the runway going, <laughs> it's like, what are you thinking? Nikita, who oh, Nikita just like reeks sex when she walks. <laughs> you walk, it's come follow me, boys. It's come, come follow, follow me, me come boys. follow me, boys. Why? Because the booty is out. It's a tooted booty. You can pick up your flaws like on a dime. You have to reshape your body from this to this. My delight, Miss J was really impressed by my walk. You have a great walk, actually. It's it's very seasoned. 
She's been on her first flight with this competition. I was born and raised in a small native reserve called Sucker Creek. What's the gay community like there in Sucker Creek? <laughs> It wasn't a normal princess curve. It was really, really tight. You're stuck. <laughs> Woo! We like to call that a hot runway mess. I think this bitch is lying. I think she's done every major little local show, honey, and didn't tell a damn soul. I'm just trying so hard because I want this so bad, but it's tough. It's so hard. Miss J has taught you how to walk the walk, but... Can you rock the frock? And the one and only time I'm going to tell you never tear up the runway is this afternoon. That's all I got to say. Oh my god, I love this J. I love this J. I love this J. This J Alexander. Welcome, girls. Welcome to Ultra in the fashion district of downtown Toronto. Today, your challenge is to be wrapped in cashmere bathroom tissue. You are going to walk this obstacle course without destroying the dress. Do you think you can handle that? Yes. Let's go. Drop your clothes. Let's start. The person that tears up their dress the least is going to be the winner. Yeah. I'm used to having tissue in there. Oh my <laughs> God. That was an ultra cashmere disaster. Well, I've never seen a girl <laughs> create a dress on her own by just walking in it. walk was fit for the toilet. I was the last one and all the three girls in front of me come back and the dress is just down on the ground. I do not lose. I don't. It's not even an option. Wow. Wow. I was like, oh yeah, I got this, I got this. I definitely won that challenge. Good. But little did I know, that wasn't the challenge. So we came out for what we thought was judging with Miss J, and there was actually a row of designers and couture dresses made out of bathroom tissue. This is the actual challenge. The White Cashmere Collection is a celebration of fashion and compassion to generate awareness in our fight against breast cancer. It's designed by some of our country's most influential and creative designers. The real challenge is to rock this frock without tearing it apart. We have got these lovely gowns, which I cannot say enough. You cannot do to this what you have done to those. We were told for like 10 minutes straight, do not touch the dress. Be careful in the dress. Don't breathe. Don't sit. Be a mannequin. The designers are outside. They're watching. So you have to be respectful of the designer and respectful of the fact that these are pieces that belong to a museum. Okay? Fear was instilled in us that we cannot wreck these dresses. And they're like literally museum pieces. They're like priceless. So as the ladies are putting it on, taking their time, two professional ladies doing this for me, um, Miriam decides to come in and help. <gasps> Miriam! Not to touch the dresses. And then the second she touches my dress, rip. <laughs> she rips the back of my dress about this far. <gasps> Miriam! I'm Get so sorry. out of here. Go. Why would you come touch? I'm so sorry. I was gonna. Oh. I couldn't even look at Miriam because I just wanted to yell at her. I'm so sorry. It was just a you know tiny bit that rip. It was just like maybe this much, and I, you couldn't even see. 
No, bullshit. It was this big. It was a huge rip, a huge gaping hole. It was horrible. Guys, I cannot reiterate enough. These are very delicate. They saw it. I it was on my fault. We were like, Miriam, get the f away from us. Don't touch it. Miriam, don't touch. Miriam, just don't touch the dress. I'm just like, like, don't, don't you listen? Okay, one second. These are totally the things I wish you could see. And why Heather should still be here. Sometimes I just don't think Miriam comprehends things. I don't think she realized that this dress is in a museum. The magnitude of it did not register with her. It's really noticeable. He tucked it up, but he'll know. I was like really worried that the designer was going to think that I ripped it. The designers are watching, so let's go. And like, not only that, now my dress is already ripped. I have to be even more careful on the runway with it. This dress is gorgeous. I was really concentrating, like, don't rip this, don't rip this, don't rip this. This is a really challenge. And it was hard a bit to move, and you get really nervous to be really care careful with tissue, right? She doesn't get it. Like, she doesn't what listen. if this was a billion dollar dress? You break it, you buy it. I hope yeah. it's millions of dollars. Dang. Did y'all see something down here? I was wondering what she was looking at. Do you see her even trying to pull hers up? Don't touch it. Just don't. I don't know for sure how everyone else's walks, but I know that mine was pretty good. I definitely did everything that Miss J told me to. Great face. Interesting. Interesting. The dress was way too big. So I had to do this like wonky hand thing to like hold up my dress. Relax the other hand going back. You can relax it, take it away from the hip. I can't, I'm holding up the dress. <laughs> <laughs> or else I would. Okay. I'm going back out. Miriam, don't even come close to any of the rest of us. She fell and all the train ripped apart and when she felt like the the one that I you know ripped was like bigger and like all the ripping wasn't my fault at all. Before I even took one single step in the dress, she had already ripped it like a lot. They kept some of those Miss J tips, I see. But there's one girl who just did not pull together, did she? She keeps looking on the floor. What in the hell is she looking at down there? I think she's looking for hope. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about the blonde, Megan? She's lovely. I think her box is a little stiff. Like, she just want to loosen her up a bit. Lindsay, I will put with her. She held the dress well. It was a big dress to carry. She was my favorite, for sure. Okay, so now what about Miriam? Is that the one looking on the floor? Exactly. She just needs to make eye contact. To me, I felt she had the most potential as a model. Interesting. Okay, and the last but not least, Nikita. Well, I thought she fit the dress really well. I think she's definitely good for editorial, not good for catwalk. So, girls, each of you did pick up little things that I explained to you, and you're getting better at it. Miss Nikita, darling, you pulled it together, which, thank you, Jesus. I was praying to the Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Megan was walking a bit stiff because her dress was falling off of her. Miss Lindsay, you did your job. Your face could be a little more, just press it, a little mm -hmm. more. Okay. Fresh. <laughs> Miriam, we have an issue looking down. Once you do this, two things happen. Chin, double, 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 and no neck. And we all know Miss J hates no neck monsters. <laughs> So, the winner of this challenge is... Lindsay. And the challenge win is that you get to go with me, the most beautiful of the J's. Girl, we're gonna go shoe shopping. Beautiful. So, we're gonna frock and roll. <laughs> Lindsay bought it. I still think she's telling a big old fat lie. I think she's had more experience than I've had. 
thousand dollars to spend on some shoes. What kind of shoes do you like? Uh, I like something funky. Lindsay, as a model, she's really taken a long time to peak, and I think that right now she's at the top, but I think she's just going to go right back down again. They have no idea that they she ripped no her idea. dress. But if they would have known that, she probably wouldn't have worn it. Six hundred and ninety-five. This is not even a half a it's yard true. of fabric. So I was able to get four pairs of shoes from Holtz. I got a great pair of boots, some sandals. My bag is so full of shoes. Amazing. <laughs> you want to go do a confessional? Yes. Let's go. We'll be right back, Miriam. Miriam goes and... What's the dress? Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. What? What? I'm so sorry. So sorry. What? She doesn't understand anything that happens here at the house. What? 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 <laughs> she's a little bit quieter because she'll be able to hear. But she won't even understand what we're saying. Very true. Back to Miriam. <laughs> what? I will come do mine. Uh. Mary was standing right outside the door when we did our thing. What'd she do? She hasn't said anything. She hasn't said anything. I think Mary and heard us talking to her. Thanks, Mary. Are you gonna come in here? I don't think so. I don't feel like it. Love you. Have you more? I'm gonna bring it forth. Okay. I feel bad. Me too, but we weren't saying it in a mean way. I'm so sorry, so sorry. What? Hey ladies, we got a J-mail. Hey Final Four, is a magazine always judged by the cover? Girls, in this business, that's exactly how it works. Good morning, girls. Welcome to Pinko Studio in the heart of the historical distillery district. And you know this good-looking man here with this great camera in his hand. Today the stakes are especially high because I'm shooting an actual ad today for CoverGirl Exact Eyelights. <laughs> and the girl that wins Canada's Next Top Model will be featured in an ad that will be seen across the country. How do you feel about that? Good. The fact that this is an actual ad and it will be in a magazine, uh, that's crazy. <laughs> CoverGirl is definitely changing with the time. Queen Latifah is a cover girl. People like Rihanna and Drew Barrymore. A beauty contract is crucial in any model's career, but a CoverGirl ad can make you a household name. You guys have to make every single frame count because I have to walk out of here with an actual ad for CoverGirl. So, girls, let's get you into hair and makeup and let's get this thing started. Let's All right. do it. What I'm going to be using is the CoverGirl Eyelights Collection. Everything from mascara to liners to the eyeshadows brings out the natural color in your eye mm -hmm. by just adding definition and a little bit more dimension. Mm -hmm. The Eye Lights mascara actually has tint of color in it. Mm -hmm. So when you apply it, it's just going to brighten your eye four mm -hmm. times more than your own natural lash. No, we're just going to cover CoverGirl Day, I felt like a box of poop. <laughs> I'm really edgy and editorial now, not necessarily CoverGirl. So you must be a little freaked out right now. Yeah, I'm losing my shit if you can't tell. <laughs> like, well, I don't know. You're just standing here like fading on me. I thought you were just tired. I didn't no, know. I'm not even tired at all. I just am really nervous. If I don't get this shot, which I think is almost expected of me to not get it, I'm going home. That's just how it is. Lindsay, you ready? I was the first one now. I was nervous, definitely. This is when reality really hits. We really have to deliver. Nice. Lindsay did amazing. I mean, she looks like a cover girl. Give me that. Mm. Your eyes. Mm. Yes, 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 yes. I was just enjoying myself and having a blast with it. Count to five. Come back strong. Gonna burn through that lens. Give it to me. Ooh, yes. that's it. Yeah. She actually gave us a great shot. She had some sparkle in her eyes. Her skin was absolutely glowing. I, I think it. we got it now. We got it. We got it. Thank you. 
I think I'm the only one that's kind of like lighthearted at the moment. I know Nikita is really worried. Miriam has been super quiet as usual. She seems like she's just really thinking about what she's going to do and overthinking. Before the shot, I was really nervous because they always gave me comments like, your eyes is too powerful, too serious. Keep it soft. You have a tendency to only give me fierce. No. But I want beauty today. you got to be soft and mushy like you've never been before. All right? Miriam is not the typical cover girl. She has a tendency to overmove and overpose. So I think Miriam has a lot at stake today. Let me see a cover girl feel, okay? Yeah. Miriam, I'm in shock. I'm like in shock that Miriam is as soft and pretty. Ooh, yes. Yeah. She nailed it on every single frame. I couldn't be happier or more surprised for her. You are smiling with uh -huh. your eyes like I've never seen before. Oh my God. Who I is know. that girl? Like, who That's are not you? She has a million dollar smile. I wish that she didn't, but she brought that out. I mean, she had it in the bag. I did not expect Miriam to give such soft ranges like this. You girls really watch this one. Nice. Girl. Rock on to the stars. Yes. <laughs> you really took everything that you've learned in this competition yes, and brought it today yes. on your first job. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Miriam did amazing. Nole was totally taken back by her. So I'm nervous. Megan is a total natural. She's a total cover girl. This should be a walk in the park for her. It's looking a little too nightclub-y. The hair is not right. She look like a scarecrow. Like no, let's take it down. Let's do something. We kept having to stop, go, stop, go. Hair was never right. Makeup was too heavy. <sighs> this is bothering me. I'm gonna throw up. Hair again. Wardrobe was too big, and it didn't matter what we did. There was always something wrong. Let's go back to the one before. Like that was better. No. No. She looks like Swiss Miss Bun. I know it was something wrong with Megan the brand, not Megan the person, but Megan the person got upset. You gotta land this shot if you wanna continue on in the competition. If you don't get this shot, your chances of Canada's Next Top Model aren't gonna happen. Wait, what's she doing? That is not cute. Wait. She lost it. Hold on. She, she look a mess. <laughs> Bye, give me one minute. The second that something attacked her confidence a bit, it just all kind of crumbled, and she just didn't really know how to handle it. We thought Megan was the full package, and so, like, my perception of hers changed. Can she really pull it off? Working with Mike was a little bit nerve-wracking because he doesn't just get to judge the picture; he gets to judge our overall performance of the day. Come here, Megan. And I had a bit of a mental breakdown. You're about to cry on me, boo-boo. No. <laughs> yes, you are. It's okay. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm good. <laughs> Focus. Look at me. We had a lot of problems with her, and I think this completely shook her. She was the biggest disappointment for me. The pictures were not cute. Okay. It was like your face was just not giving it to me. Yeah. Okay, so compose yourself. we got to get this shot, okay? We, we, we will get this shot, okay? I have no idea how her picture is going to translate, if you're going to be able to see that sadness in her eyes still. Megan stepped onto the set and she just didn't seem present. She seemed a little awkward. You know, the fact that we had to struggle to get one or two good shots was, you know, kind of a disappointment to us. Woo! It wasn't easy, no. <laughs> but I think we may have got it. Thank got it. You. All Thank right. You. They like glued in some extensions, so I just kind of was like a tease to give me my normal hair back. Being in the final four is so tough because you basically have to bring your A-game every time. There's no like room for error. You just have to come in and be confident, which is really hard because I'm not. I think Nikita is very insecure, so I just don't really see her making it as a working model. Wow. Nikita, there's one or two really soft shots on you there. Badasses can look like cover girls. Nole said that I shocked him. I mean, I don't know if they're going to be strong enough to stick around. How are you girls feeling over there? 
the ones that I thought were going to do really well in today's shoot kind of didn't do well, and the ones that I thought weren't going to do well end up doing good. So, I don't know. We got it. I'm surprised. It looks good. I'm not. I think, well, I am. I'm not going to lie. I was, like, sitting down, and Miriam was like, are you okay? Do you need a hug? Da -da 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 -da. And I was like, I know you're so sweet, but you're just making me more upset right now. So if you want to cry to feel better, just cry. I hate crying. It is so far into the competition, and every little flaw will be nitpicked at. I was just floating in limbo land. Like, but you, like, I was never bad, but I was never good. Mm -hmm, yeah. And then today, like, I did bad. It is a very close race, I think, in the competition right now. I think that at this point, it could be anyone's game. Oh, I do like a load of laundry and pack my bag before tomorrow morning. Don't pack your bag. It's bad omen. I know. I just know that I did the worst at the photo shoot. Okay. I actually think that this time, like, I'm actually going home. I was in the bottom two last week at judging. Probably have a horrible picture. And at this point in the game, you have to have amazing stuff. Are you nervous about tomorrow? Yes. I know what you mean, I'm nervous too. I'm happy to have come this far. That doesn't mean this is as far as I want to go. I am nervous because it's getting tougher and tougher. But we are just four people. I don't want to get eliminated. I don't think Miriam's model. I don't know what she is. A bookworm, maybe. But I honestly just feel that Miriam shouldn't be here. She doesn't pay attention. Yesterday, they were like, okay, work your eyes. And she was like... <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, what, what are you doing? <laughs> girls. This week your eyes were the prize and it was a wrap on the runway. <laughs> now the tissues are for crying. Aww. Aww. So Aww. Mean. Tomorrow was judging and four become three. Jay. Everyone, all four of us think we're going home. Everyone's just being so critical and so hard on themselves right now. The judges have kept you around twice even though you've not had your passport so obviously there's something about you that they love. If it was me in the top two, who would I want to be with? I want to be with Megan because she's already defeating herself and that will come through in her pictures and that will show up. I think I'm going home tomorrow. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, did anybody else have a bad shoot? No. No, just you? I'm just me. It's you really, don't you don't I'm sure I'm going home. Well, don't you girls look stunning tonight? I gotta tell you, you guys are one step closer to those amazing prizes. First, a modeling contract with top agency Elmer Olsen Models, an editorial spread in Fashion Magazine. And the $100,000 contract with PG Beauty, makers of CoverGirl and Perfect 10 by Nice and Easy. This is a very special panel, I've got to tell you tonight. First up, highly sought after celebrity and fashion photographer, and now someone who has shot the four of you, Mr. Mike Ruiz. Hey, cover girls. <laughs> Top model of the world, Miss Yasmin Warsame. Hi, girls. Fashion journalist and editor, and really the mother of us all in the world of fashion, Miss <laughs> Jeannie Becker. It's like I'm looking at la creme de la creme. You look great. And then no top model competition <laughs> is ever complete without runway diva extraordinaire, Mr. J. Miss J. Alexander. Sorry. Oops. I almost got us confused. Yes, you did. <laughs> mm. Well, tonight we're going to start off with something a little unusual. I'm going to ask the four of you to exit. Then we're going to have you come in one by one. Can you guess what I'm going to ask you to do? Runway. Okay. All right, so you guys can leave the room. All right, Lindsay.
That was interesting. You know what, let's start with your individual assessments. Lindsay, you're first. I gotta tell you how you presented yourself walking into the room this evening. I was really impressed, and it's just no surprise to me that you were the challenge winner. And I still think she's full of shit. I think she's been doing this for years <laughs> and years <laughs> and years, because I think for a girl who's coming from where? Second Creek. Yep. <laughs> Your walk is at a professional level. Thank you. Now, whoever wins Canada's Next Top Model will have the ad they shot this week for CoverGirl appear across the country. Okay. So your best shot. There's just enough smile, but the eyes are saying so many things here. There's a real level of intelligence I see coming across in that shot, and I do think you're very smart. As soon as you stepped on set, your confidence kind of transcended everything, and I think you did a really amazing job. That confidence that you found was very prevalent in your film. I mean, it was astonishing to me. I, I just, this is not the girl that I've been looking at week after week after week, but then again, maturity. there's something about it that's coming across that's a bit mature. I think your maturity, I think, honestly, it's in your soul. I really think it's in your I've soul. I've been told that since I was, like, young. Thanks, Lindsay. Okay, Miriam. I was there when Miss J taught you how to work the runway. And Jay talked to you about looking down, and what happened when you walked in the room? I just forgot, like, uh, you know, I... Is there time to forget, Miss Jay? But you weren't as bad as I thought you were going to be. Okay. So your best shot. My jaw dropped when you stepped on set, because you were just giving it to me, and you were giving me tons of variety. Wow. Everything was beautiful. I just see something kind of sad. I just see something... Really? Here it is. And it seems like you just got some bad news from home, and then you were just trying to go and do your job to get it over with. I see what you're talking about. I think she looks pleasant and happy. I was really happy, actually. And you were restrained and subtle and sweet. It just, like, rocked my world. What Nole had to say was that you floored him by your performance on set. Thanks, Miriam. All right, Megan. Are you okay today? Yeah, no, I'm good. I'm nervous, very nervous. You know when I could tell you were nervous? When you came into the judging room, I didn't quite see the confidence that you had in the last couple of weeks. What happened? It was really hard for me. I know I kept having problems with Megan the brand. Hair wasn't right numerous times. And then finally he was just like, okay, forget about it. Let's just shoot this. I just felt like he was like tired of me. I don't know many shoots that go by where I've turned to the model and said, you know, the hair is not right. But I'm not talking about the model. Yeah. I'm talking to hair. Yeah. The makeup's not right. That's makeup. So when you overhear these discussions, you don't have control. And then that's your job to keep your emotions out of it because it had nothing to do with you. In this industry, if you are going to be this sensitive, you are going to not last yeah. at all. Well, let's hit it and let's see your best shot, Megan. Why are you looking down? What are you thinking right now? I think my mouth is awkward. <laughs> No, it's not awkward. It's pretty. It's, it's, it's that is fabulous. I, I think that's great. I know that, you know, the hair and makeup thing kind of threw you, and I was just hoping that you were going to give me, like, more variety and, and be more present. Like, you know, you were so overwrought. If it's all busted up hair and makeup, attach yourself to it and make it work. You've got to keep whatever it is you're going through and don't let it show. All right. Okay. Thanks, Megan. Thank you. All right, Nikita. All right, Miss J, dig into that walk. It was a bit hard. I'm an elephant. I wake up my roommates downstairs all the time. Okay. okay, so then try to walk like an elephant in ballerina shoes. <laughs> well, you know what? Let's take a look. Oh, now, okay, now what's the look? Honestly, came here thinking I'm being eliminated because this photo is going to be horrible because I don't look like a cover girl. Megan is blonde, blue eyed in the back there, and she didn't have such a great shoot. Sure. I kind of don't even buy the self-deprecating thing. I think it's kind of your defense mechanism. Drop it. It's not. It's, 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 it's boring. <laughs> and it's old. It's like, ooh, I don't know. I don't like my hair. So that we'll have a preconception that you're working to see an ugly picture, and then it's fabulous. Because you're, you're way too confident for all this self-deprecating stuff. There are four people left in this room. And you guys need to start stepping up and figuring out who's going to win this jammy. No, you don't really think that. Nice yeah, well, try. Well, what's putting it like that? You know what? Let's finally take a look at your best shot. That does not look the same person. No, it doesn't at all. It does not look like the same person here. 
I look retarded. She just, you guys didn't hear what she just said? She goes, I, I look, look retarded. retarded. Sorry, I look no, no, no. disabled. <laughs> I think the picture's exquisite. I love it. Yeah, the smile is a little tentative, but the eyes, your eyes say cover girl. I mean, you totally nailed it. Could be better, this. could be worse. No, no, not at all. It couldn't be better. It's, I think it's freaking great. To go and to deliver this is brilliant because that's what fashion modeling is. Absolutely. From one extreme to the next. Thanks, Nikita. Thank you. All righty. Well, this week you did almost a mini fashion show. You know, usually I don't get word back, but I got a message from one of the designers that one of the dresses had a oopsie. Can someone tell me what happened? I will, since I was wearing the dress. They distilled fear in us for five minutes about how delicate these dresses are. Don't touch the dress. Don't touch. Don't, don't touch. Bend. Don't touch. Never. Miriam goes like this. Dress rips this much. I ripped this much. No, like this much. When, when I saw her, her sorry when I saw her like going up the stairs, she fell down. I didn't and fall. The tr yeah, and then I saw it like this much came this much, no, and it was this long. It was like forearm long. Okay, I'm sorry. It was but this. I told that I'm gonna this. apologize to the designer. And this is not like I did it understand. on purpose to rip the dress. No one's you know? saying, honey, you did it on purpose. Okay, well. We now, I think, have the answer to the story of the rip in the dress. I think there's a lot to consider here this week. Cover girl, runway, and a damaged product. So, I'm going to have you girls leave the room. The judges will deliberate. And when I call you back in, we'll let you know which one of you will be going home. Jay asked. Jay asked about the rip dress, and you should have just been honest and not said you ripped it this Honestly, much. Honestly, I'm not like lying because I'm never lying, right? But I, I saw you caught, and then when you did that, it went like so much. Come on, already you're talking about it five times. I'm sorry. Okay, you're stop, stop, stop talking. And the fact that she was trying to like pass the blame onto me just completely pissed me off because if that rip wasn't there in the first place. There would have been no opportunity for the rip to get any bigger. They hire these people because that I is know. their job. I just wanted to it help them. It doesn't matter. You're not hired to help them. You're here to compete I'm to for be the a next model. Time if I did that, I'm Were you listening when they talked to us for five minutes about how not to touch the dress? I know, did you understand that? I did it, and it's done. And I'm telling you that I'm not going to yeah. do it again. And it's and done. That's, that's fine. That's fine. I'm just making sure that you understand. Yeah, I, I do understand. If you tell me something once, once I understand. Well, we are a little tortured right now. Miriam gave me that subtlety, that smile, the head back, and it conveys just effortless beauty. My blood's boiling. Why? She blatantly lied about this rip thing in the dress. If it was just one of the girls saying it against her, but like the three of them, and the fact that two big, fabulous opportunities that, you know, she missed, she's not been there for a lot of it. This girl mm -hmm. has reached this level because of her determination, mm -hmm. resourcefulness. This girl is unstoppable. After this photo shoot, Miriam thrust herself to the front runner position for me. Lindsay, she was very fabulous this week. She's beautiful. There is something there that says, wow. She was overloaded with confidence and understanding what she needed to deliver, and she totally delivered it. She doesn't have that it factor. What is the it factor? Mm -hmm. 12 years old and 37 ounces? Oh, my God. Uh, I like this picture. It's cute. It's pretty. It's fresh. I buy this shot the most as a cover girl shot. I think she's scrumptious. I think she's crazy. These excuses and this self-deprecating behavior really turns me off. In this fashion business, half these girls are slightly cuckoo, cuckoo. Megan, there's something so compelling about this picture for me. I would just put my money on her any day. The, the girl is gorgeous, but one drop of negative criticism Everything else around her falls apart. If any of the girls should have been able to nail this girl next door thing. It should have been Megan, and she was the one who failed the most. Can she be Canada's next top model having that insecurity? Insecurity. We made our decision. Four lovely young women stand in front of me. But I only have three potential CoverGirl ads in my hands. 
These three photos represent the three of you that will continue on in hope of becoming Canada's next top model. There is no picture of the week this week. The four of you delivered a viable CoverGirl cosmetic ad and they could all go out there, but only one will. First name I'm going to call, Lindsay. Congratulations. You're still in the running towards becoming Canada's next top model. Thank you. Next name I'm going to call, Nikita. You're still in the running towards becoming Canada's next top model. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Well, Megan and Miriam, please step forward. Megan, you've had this slow rise, and at the first sign, trouble. Yeah, you came crashing down. Miriam, you've shown us consistently. Hurdle, I'm over it. Next hurdle, you're there. But the judges worry that the industry just won't put up with all the complications. There were a lot of heated arguments and tears among the judges tonight. What's harder to overcome? A complicated life or a lack of confidence? Find a way over that confidence issue, Megan. Thank you. Thank you you're so gonna, much. You're going to find a way to push through, find that confidence. Yeah. And it's okay if you've got that little insecurity inside. We all do. But you've got to find a way over that in this business. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, thank you so much for everything. Do you know what? It really was a pleasure. Thank you. For all of us getting to know you. The tears. Here. Don't worry about your tears. Thanks. Thanks, man. I wanted really, really to win this, but I really wanted to have experience too and to have good photos and to meet professional people and I got all of them except the prize. It's not like this was the only way that I could go, like I got scholarship, my average was A in the school, so I guess I'm going to go back to school and send my portfolio to the agency that I would like to and see what happens. Three hopefuls remain. It all comes down to this. Me, Megan, and my set. Top three, top three. I can win this. This is it. One model's life will change forever. Wow. we got to choose one. What are we going to do? I'm shaking in my boots. Who has the legs to win? I just want it so bad. To become Canada's Next Top Model. The season finale of Canada's Next Top Model. Next Tuesday at 8, 7 Central on CTV. Brought to you in part by Perfect 10 by Nice and Easy. The color that changes everything.